Birmingham Public Library shared an autograph that she did for a book they have in the library. They posted that, sent that out. I put that on Twitter. Of course, over the course of Lee's lifetime, her skills as a writer certainly captured the attention of Americans and fans around the world, really. But as her life played out, Lee made it abundantly clear by her actions she didn't want the spotlight. Ever since it was published in 1960, To Kill a Mockingbird has remained a classic in American literature, and its author, a somewhat reluctant household name. Harper Lee's literary talents led her to pen a story that spoke of racial injustice and inequality in 1930s Alabama. Mockingbird turned Lee into a household name, earning her a Pulitzer Prize and worldwide acclaim. But a few years after the book was published, Lee turned away from the spotlight. She became known for her reclusive nature and was only seen in public a handful of times over the decades. She reportedly said she would never write another book. More than 50 years passed before the world learned that Lee had another project hidden away. The controversial subject matter of Go Set a Watchman sparked nationwide debates. It also raised questions as to why the book was released and if Lee even wanted the world to see it. While Watchmen shined new light and new discussion on Lee's private life, we still never knew much about her as a person. Those who did cross paths with her say she chose to live the remainder of her days out of the spotlight the way she preferred. And Go Set a Watchman encouraged many people to go back and get To Kill a Mockingbird and read it again anew. We have received numerous statements regarding Harper Lee's death in our newsroom today. They are from the Birmingham Public Library, Governor Robert Bentley, and the list just goes on and on about how her work touched so many lives. If you want to see what they're saying, go to our website right now at WIAT.com. Also, be sure to tune into the CBS Evening News for much more national reaction on the death of the Alabama author. That begins right after this newscast.